Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we're going back to 2015 and we are going to check out this box of 2015 Elite Extra Edition. We've never before opened this product on the channel and I think today is just as good as any day to do this one with Aaron Judge coming fresh off of his 62 home run season. Of course, the Yankees now out of the playoffs. We'll have the World Series Game 1 starting tomorrow between the Astros and the Phillies. But with no baseball going on, let's go ahead and rip open a box of baseball cards. So you can see there's six autographs in this box. There's also one relic. Yon Moncada gets the cover boy spot. And uh, the big chase card in this product is the Aaron Judge autographs. We we're looking for one hot box per case that could have eight to 10 autographs. That would be pretty nice. That, that would definitely increase our chances. And uh, if you would like to sponsor a box break like this one, you can check us out on Patreon. It is $4.99 to sign up for this one's going to Tim. By the way, I just listed my 2022 tops update uh, break. We are doing a random team style break tomorrow i plan on doing it. i hope i can get all my cases it's a little up in the air right now um i have at least one guaranteed case coming it could be way more than that i'm working through having a little bit of a communication um setback with my my dealer there um but hopefully we have all my cases in um tomorrow and we can break open a ton of 2022 tops update at the very least we're going to get a case break of at least one of them and we're going to get a new release preview video so stay tuned for that folks now for tim let's go ahead and see what we can find there's 196 base cards in this set the panini elite extra edition is basically panini's response to bowman so if you love prospects you're probably aware of elite extra edition and maybe you've purchased it at some point this is the seven-year-old seven edition. So there's 20 packs in here. So a bunch of packs. There's five cards for packs. A grand total of 100 total cards. And we're hoping that we can get the Aaron Judge autograph for Tim. So let's show you the pack. Let's show you the back. Nothing too crazy with the backs of these Panini packs. They never give us odds or anything like that. And here we go. So Tyler White is going to start us off. We've got way... Chin Wong and International Pride Domingo Leyva. You'll see some of these guys. You'll recognize some of their names from the big leagues. Some of them will be like, wait, who's that guy? And um, let's see, we've got our next pack. Nothing too crazy in that first one. How about Mariano Rivera the third? That's pretty awesome right there. I wonder if that's any relation to the Mariano Rivera. We've got Mitchell Hansen and our, uh, I thought it was going to be an autograph. I got faked out. It's a Raphael Devers hype insert card. Definitely the hype was legit and uh, well warranted around Raphael Devers. He's one of the best players in all of baseball. We've got Austin Byler leading off this next pack. There's Tyler J, Brian Gonzalez, and Jeff Hendricks. So that was a bum pack. Nothing really crazy good on there. And still no autographs yet either. Five total autographs. The fact that we don't have one yet makes me think that it's not likely going to be a hot box with 8 to 10 autos. We do have the hit here of the jersey. It's a William Benson from Team USA. There's Christian Olivo there as the last one up. So the autographs should start to pick up the pace. And here we go. Here's a nice one. Vladdy Jr. 2015 Elite Extradition. One of the best cards in the base set. We have Carl Wise. As our first autograph, nothing too crazy there. That's a name that a lot of us probably don't even recognize. But here's one that we all do recognize. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. We'll get that one sleeved up for Tim. Card number 169 of the set. And now we're moving on to the next one. This pack feels a little thicker. I don't know why. We already did get our relic. And uh, there's a second relic. It's likely going to be a relic auto. There's Key Brian Hayes. Now in the big leagues, Walker Buehler in his Vanderbilt jersey. So nice one there. We've got Luke Weaver. So we're getting all kinds of big leaguers. And it's a fake out. It is a fake out. Panini back in the day used to put in the uh, spacers. By the way, all pretty much major leaguers in that pack. Domingo Herman and Contreras in there as well. Pretty good pack right there. Next up, we've got Andrew Benintendi. We've got Jarrell Cotton as our second autograph. So I'll call that one a miss. I don't know if he's still in the big leagues. Last time I saw him, he was with the A's. So two autos down and still looking and hoping that we can find the judge. There's Kyle Tucker, one of the better cards in the set. We'll sleeve up the Tucker. 
Mitchell Hansen is going to be our third autograph. So hold on a second here. We've got three autographs already. We're not halfway through the box. So there is a chance that we could potentially have a hot box. Maybe. We'll see. Again, eight to ten autos are a hot box. Do we have another one there? This good old Travis Blankenhorn. We've got Omar Carrizales, numbered out of 200. I don't recognize that name at all. Uh, that's just the way it goes with these prospects. You go through any old Bowman or prospect release, more than half the guys probably never even made it to the majors. There's Brandon Lau. He made it to the majors. Brett Phillips out of 100. We've got Oz Hino Albies. You might better know him as Ozzy Albies. So <laughs> Ozzy Albies, that's a good one right there. Braves fans will like that one. And Orlando Arcia is the last one there. So we still have one full stack left. For Tim, still looking for that judge. There's Rafi Ozuna on the back. Who's that? I don't know. Tyler Nevin is going to be the next hit. It is going to be a die-cut auto out of 75. So four autographs in the books. The judge auto still yet to be found. Now, we still have approximately, I don't even know, half the box. We've got four. We may indeed have a hot box. I'm starting to feel pretty confident that we have a hot box here of autographs which would be very, very nice. And that is the case, I think, folks. We've got Tom Eshelman. It's going to be an autograph, and we are on official hot box status here. Uh, unless these are all cold packs, looks like we're going to have 8 to 10 autographs in this one. Very nice. So let's just keep those autos coming. Here comes another one. It's Anthony Hermylan. I haven't heard of him either, but we're up to a grand total of six autographs. Jordan Hicks, you all know him, and there's Raphael Devers. 2015 lead extra. So pretty cool seeing all these guys as youngsters. This is our stack of packs that's left, by the way, so you can get a kind of a, an idea of what we have left. Let's see. We've got Christian Pache. He looks really, really young there. Big disappointment this year, Christian Pache. There's James Caprillian. Mick Rodolfo and Pache, who's a great fielder, but the bat is a huge area of concern. A little spacer in there again to fake people out. Now, there's Harrison Bader with the Yankees now. Had a great postseason, five home runs. In 2022, Panini's not doing these spacers anymore. So you can always tell just by, as soon as you pick up the pack, if it's thicker, you know that you have a hit. And if it's kind of not good, if you go and buy your packs at a hobby store that allows people to pick their own packs. And we are on a little cold streak now I'm getting all these spacers so much for a hot well I guess technically it is a hot box we got six autos so unless all of these have autos we're not going to get 10 but we'll take what we can get let's see what we've got in this next one for Tim there's Tyler J and here comes another auto it's going to be Tate Matheny I wonder if that's any relation to Mike Matheny so Tate Matheny we're up to seven autographs Jose Lopez and Jace Fry now, the box did say a hot box has 8 to 10 autographs, and um, that's well, looks like what we're working on right here. I'm really hopeful we can find the Judge Auto. He's also got, I think he's got three autos in the set. He's got a dual auto with Luis Severino, and then I think he's got one uh, out of 49, and he's got another one as well. Hey, there's Fernando Tatis Jr. Very nice. So we're seeing some of the young guns here. We've got Wei Chi Huang. I don't know if I even said that right. But we are now up to eight autographs. And there's the young Tati still in his Chicago Cubs. Or check that, Chicago White Sox jersey. As you know, Tatis came up in the White Sox organization, was traded for James Shields in a very, very poor trade. I'm sure that the White Sox fans would probably like to redo that one, even with the recent events surrounding Tatis. So uh, there's a Harrison Bader out of 200, and we're down to our last pack. we got to hope there's a judge in there. Even if we don't get a judge, I'm still happy that we found a hot box here. Here we go, folks. Last one for Tim. Good luck to you, Tim. Let's see what we've got in here. There's Jalen Miller, Jacob Nix. We have a Ryan Ripken out of 150, Julian Leone, and last but not least, there's Jairo Munoz as the final one. So we did get a hot box. We got eight autographs, which is nice. In terms of best player there, though, I don't, I don't know if any of those guys are really I don't know, all that valuable. I mean, maybe the Jarrell Cotton had some time in the big leagues. Thomas Eshelman, um, I don't know, folks. What's the best auto? Maybe some of you would say Tyler Nevin out of 75. 
So we did get a hot box. Unfortunately, a lot of the autos are guys that just kind of fell off and never really materialized into too much at the big league level, but it was still fun to go after the Aaron Judge um, 2015 autograph. So if you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself, they're on eBay for, they're about 150 to 160 bucks. Elite Extradition also has a kind of like a quote unquote hobby light box with three autographs in it, which is a little bit less if you want to chase after those. So there you have it, folks. We'll be live, just by the way, tonight. We've got a consignment auction uh, from Matt S. from Magic Matt's Mystery Packs. We opened his stuff on Monday. They were great. He sent a bunch of binders. We've got autographs, binders, relics, a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, so check us out for the consignment tonight. And then tomorrow, brand new release of 2022 Tops Update. At long last, we've been waiting for it. I cannot wait to see the J-Rod, Witt, Torkelson, all those new designs. So join us for that. Have a great rest of your Thursday. I hope to see you on the live stream tonight for the auction. And I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.